Google's Android XR glasses versus Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses. Which one is actually worth your attention? Let's break it all down. Video quality, AI features, live translation, in-lens displays, and more. Starting off with recording. Google's XR glasses finally bring something creators have been asking for, horizontal video. That's right, no more awkward cropping for YouTube or widescreen content. Meanwhile, Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses still stick to vertical video, and even that doesn't fully match standard formats. But here's the catch. When it comes to stabilization, Meta takes the win. Footage on the Ray-Bans looks smooth, even during movement. In comparison, video from Google's XR glasses tends to shake, even when the person is just walking. And the field of view? It's noticeably tighter, giving it a slightly zoomed-in look. Now let's talk displays. Google is bringing something bold, an in-lens display that shows time, weather, directions, and even real-time translations, all right in front of your eyes. It's futuristic, no doubt. Meta, on the other hand, keeps things audio first. There's no screen. Everything is handled through voice, which may actually be simpler and more accessible for some users. Design is another big difference. Meta teamed up with Ray-Ban and Oakley, bringing in sleek, familiar frames that you'd actually want to wear in public. Google partnered with Warby Parker and Gentle Monster, not exactly iconic names. And the result? A more minimal, techy design that doesn't stand out in the best way. On the AI side, Google is integrating Gemini, which has been around longer than Meta AI. Gemini is designed for deeper, more research-heavy tasks, while Meta's assistant is better for quick, casual responses. It really comes down to what you need the AI to do. As for app support, Google's glasses will offer native access to YouTube Music, Google Maps, and Android messaging. Meta supports apps like Spotify, Audible, and Apple Music, but integration isn't always as seamless, especially if you're using Android. And then there's live translation. Google's glasses can detect the language automatically and display subtitles in real time, a big step up from Meta, which requires manual input and provides audio-only translation. Google's Android XR glasses are expected in 2026, possibly with versions that come with or without the in-lens display. Meanwhile, Meta's smart glasses are already on the market and focus more on polished performance, accessibility, and everyday wearability. So what's the takeaway? If you want cutting-edge features like visual overlays and tight Android integration, Google's XR glasses could be your pick. But if you care more about style, smoother video, and simpler audio controls, Meta's Ray-Bans are tough to beat. 